let's start with a new topic from the chapter fluid kinematics about the problem which is associated with velocity potential function and streamline function the problem one states a stream function is given by psi is equal to 5x minus 6y calculate the velocity components and also magnitude and direction of the resultant velocity at any point now the function which is given to you is psi is equal to 5x minus 6y so dou psi upon dou x is equal to 5 and dou psi upon dou y is equal to minus 6 now over here we have just partially differentiated this so when you differentiate 5x with respect to x partially you will get the result as 5 and similarly over here as minus 6 but the velocity components u and v in terms of stream functions are given by the equation u is equal to minus dou psi upon dou y is equal to minus of minus 6 which is equal to 6 units per second and v is equal to dou psi upon dou x which is equal to 5 units per second so now we have calculated the velocity components the resultant velocity will be under the root u square plus v square so now this becomes under the root 6 square plus 5 square which is equal to 36 plus 25 which will be equal to under the root 61 which is equal to 7.81 units per second and this is your resultant velocity now the direction is given by 10 theta is equal to v upon u so now over here theta is equal to 10 inverse of v upon u so this becomes 10 inverse of 5 upon 6 which is equal to 10 inverse of 0 0.833 which is equal to 39 degrees and 48 minutes now over here the next problem states sketch the streamline represented by psi is equal to x square plus y square also find out the velocity and its direction at the point 1 and 2 now the function is psi is equal to x square plus y square again the velocity components are u and v so now this becomes u is equal to minus dou psi upon dou y which is equal to dou upon dou y and the function x square plus y square now when we partially differentiate it we get u is equal to minus 2y similarly v is equal to dou psi upon dou x now this over here we get v is equal to 2x but at point 1 and 2 the velocity components are given u is equal to go into minus 2 which is equal to minus 4 units per second and v is equal to 2 into 1 that is 2 units per second again the resultant velocity is equal to under the root u square plus v square so this becomes under the root minus 4 square plus 2 square so this is 16 plus 4 which is equal to under the root 20 which is equal to 4.47 units per second and the direction is given by tan theta is equal to v upon u so now over here theta is 10 inverse of v upon u so this comes as theta is equal to 26 degree and 56 seconds the resultant velocity makes an angle of 26 degree 56 minutes with x axis now the function was psi is equal to x square plus y square let psi be 1 2 and 3 and so on so this is the diagram which we have 1 psi is equal to 1 that is equal to x square plus y square so we will be having this particular diagram for 2 the second circle and 3 and this goes on so each equation is the equation of circle thus we shall get the concentric circles of different diameter 
which has been shown to us in this particular figure thank you